in wrestling, very seldom do you, are you able to write your own ending. But he's been able to write his own ending. And I think that's just amazing. Uh, again, very, very fortunate that AEW was there for it, or it would have never happened. All right, welcome to Scouting Reports at the After Chat. I'm your host, as you know, Bill After, and with me right now, one of my favorite people, and not only is he one of my favorite wrestlers and personalities, but I love to imitate his voice. <laughs> <laughs> Jake the Snake Roberts, welcome to Sports Key to Scouting Reports. I'm glad to be here, Bill. It is so, it's just so good to see you. We go a long way back. Yeah, we do. Not just here in the U.S. My goodness, I, I remember coming, shocking you one time when I walked into an arena in uh, somewhere in, in Brighton, England. Yeah. And I said, excuse me, Mr. Roberts, and I tapped you on the back, and you turned around, you said, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> so It was all good stuff. So with scouting reports, I want to go uh, uh, do our very first segment here. And that is somebody that you've seen recently in the past year or so. Uh, and you saw him back in WCW and he's announced his uh, retirement. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about the icon Sting. So before we get to the technical part of this, what would you like to say to this guy on his pending retirement? Well, I'm just going to tell him that he's uh, the most fortunate man on the planet. How is that? Well, in wrestling, very seldom do you, are you able to write your own ending. Ooh. But he's been able to write his own ending. And I think that's just amazing. Uh, again, very, very fortunate that AEW was there for it, or it would have never happened. So uh, I just wish him the best in anything he does in the future. And hopefully he'll still contribute in some way to wrestling. It's amazing that at his age, a little bit over 60, at his age, that he's doing so much in the ring. I mean, I was like terrified when I saw him jump off one of the, the balconies onto a bunch of guys. I mean, I, I texted him afterwards and he, he just kind of hit me in LOL after that so were you yeah. shocked when you saw how well I, I remember seeing him get out there and I thought oh hell no he's not gonna jump yeah he did yes he did he's unbelievable so let's go back now to your time with Sting and I always tell the the wrestlers that I'm doing this with we do it kind of like ESPN you know this is a wrestling scouting report so yeah. let's talk about Sting the wrestler First, his strengths, and then his weaknesses. Well, as far as his strengths, it, be, it had to be his condition. His conditioning was uh, always top-notch. He was always in the greatest of shape. Um, there, I, can't, I, I can't remember seeing him down. Yeah. And, and that's what, pretty, pretty well, damn strong. Was there a weakness that you spotted when you were scouting him? Just his lack of ring time. Mm -hmm. It's the time that I was with him. Yeah. Because you got to remember that's it's been a while, but he he wasn't he wasn't the savvy veteran that he is now. But uh, he certainly seasoned himself up over time. When you wrestled Sting back in WCW, was it uh, uh, the Beach Guy Sting, or was it? Uh, uh, it wasn't the Crow yet, was it? No, it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about the match. Well, we were given the worst damn match of all. The Coal Miner's Glove match. Oh, right. I remember that. Would you and mind... Just for a second, to some of the fans who might be watching this and they don't know what that was, could you explain that? 
Well, they put a coal miner's glove on a pole in the corner. Anybody that knows Jake the Snake knows Jake the Snake ain't climbing no damn pole. <laughs> Not going to happen. So Sting was the only one that climbed the pole. But it was uh, very, I thought it was very anti-climatic, you know, for us. And that uh, we should have been given a much better match. What would that match have been? Oh, just give me a cage. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a cage match would have been fine. A bull rope match would have been fine. Um, tickle your Tickle your ass with a feather would have been fine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they've ever done a tickle oh. your ass with a feather match. Uh, don't, uh, by the way, don't panic. There might be a promoter out there listening to this now that... You're, you know, you're right. You're right. You're right. It's, it's what's best for business, right? Yeah, that's what they say. All right. Jake Roberts, thank you for uh, this scouting report on the Icon Sting. You bet.